Uh, hello, my name is uh, Professor Kenneth Jacobson, and I am a law professor at Temple University in Philadelphia. I teach, I research, and I practice law in the area of uh, evidence and procedure uh, and other subjects. Uh, and we have, uh, in the United States, as in Taiwan, you know, we have rules that govern evidence, and we have rules that govern procedure. And we have, as you do in Taiwan, a constitution that dictates how we should behave. And we have laws that regulate our behavior as well. I'm very familiar with Taiwan. I've traveled there many times. I've lectured at National Taiwan University. I have visited the legislative UN, the control UN, and other, your other powers. Uh, so I'm familiar with your country. And I'm familiar with its love and respect for the rule of law. And as a practicing lawyer, and now as a teacher of my students for years, the rule of law is absolutely critical. It's essential. Without observance and adherence to the rule of law, then we have lawlessness. And that is what happened, in my opinion, in the Taijimin tax case. I have studied the Taijimin tax case for many years. I've read many documents related to the Taijimin tax case. And I believe that I have not seen more abuse of power than I have in the Taijimin tax case. And when government officials abuse power, it affects not only the victims of that abuse, but it affects all of us. Because that means that the rule of law is not being followed. And that falls on all of us, whether the direct targets of that abuse or not. I know of Taijimin's ordeal for 24 years to stop the prosecution and persecution, because it was not only a prosecution, it was a persecution with what Taijimin had to endure at the hands of the prosecutor. I admire and respect the perseverance of Tai Chi Min and Dr. Wang Hong for fighting relentlessly against, not only against unfair taxes, which they were, but against the abuse of power that the, of, of those that hold that power. But the battle is not over. The battle is not over. After decades of fighting, against these forces of oppression, the tax years have been corrected for five years, but they remain for one. And that to me is a, a, a disturbing and incredible part of this unfortunate saga because 1992 is no different than the other tax years, 91, 93, 94, 95, 96, it's no different. It's no different. If as the criminal Supreme Court, division of the Supreme Court found, if as many courts have found, if everyone that looked at this at the end of the day has found, looked at it seriously, not looked at it through concealed evidence or fabricated evidence as happened in this case, but look at this, those years are no different than 1992. And principles of fairness, principles of equity, and principles of what we call race judicata, a concept that comes from the Latin, but it also applies around the world. It means once something is decided, it should be decided. It has been decided in a Taijimin tax case for those five other years. It should be decided the same way for 1992, this case should be brought to an end. Justice should prevail. And as important, 
the rule of law must prevail because without the rule of law, we have nothing. I have a great respect for Taiwan and the Taiwanese government, uh, just like I have great respect and love for the Taiwanese people. It is unfortunate, but the Taijiman case is a blemish on the government. Uh, it is a stain on the government. Most government officials, as in the United States, like most people, as in the United States, are good people. They're lawful people. But the problem is that very small percent that are not good people, but have power, it's like a cancer, and it could absolutely corrupt the rest of the organization. And it's got to be stopped. The government, the other people in that same agency or in government have to identify it, which has happened in Tai Chi Min's case. They know where the abuses are, but they have to stop it. I think that it is as bad, if not worse, to allow an injustice to continue as it is to create the injustice in the first place. And that is what's happened here with Tai Chi Men. It's been allowed to continue. So my request would be to the government officials who are all good, to the president of Taiwan, to the various ministers, is to put a stop to this ongoing injustice. You can do it, you have the power to do it, fix and correct the, 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 the misdeeds of those that created this illegal you know, problem in the first place. Good luck to Tai Chi Minh, good luck to Dr. Hong, and let's hope that this regrettable, regrettable, unfortunate, and, and really terrible, terrible ordeal will come to an end. Thank you.